beautiful, beautiful machinery uh, in which uh, Eduardo Hurtado can get an absolute unbelievable and <coughs> not even imagining far-fetched dreams. Uh, six wins in a row, Madame. <laughs> nobody has. Actually, nobody has five. Correction. Somebody has. And that somebody is the guy that is driving this car, Eduardo Mortara, one of uh, my favorites. One that I learned to appreciate. Mortara is uh, fifth straight uh, year at Macau, where in 2009 and 2010 he won the Macau F3, becoming the first and only driver to have achieved their two titles, and they were back to back. The two years that followed, Mortara took part in the GT Cup, this same race, and he won. And there were four. Then, sorry, I cannot identify the, the car. It's neither Mortara nor uh, Yormula. Mortara is here. And uh, he was driving all so fast, so fast, so fast, so fast, Mortara. It's not the one second, uh, something that uh, prevailed on previous sessions, but, uh, well, uh, it's respectable. It's over s half a second, uh, over Maro Engel, and that uh, very visual, very imposing, very noticeable uh, Mercedes S. LSAMG GT3, as Ian was saying this afternoon, uh, these cars are pretty beasts, pretty low, large to uh, drive at some cities of Macau. Um, we are halfway through the session, and there's Engel, Marco, Maro Engel, leading the timesheets, but uh, Mortara would show up in the final stages of um, disqualifying and well <laughs> we cannot say he had time, time to perfection to his own intentions of course he did but um, he missed he missed being put out of action by the big accident near his parents homes uh, near his um, friends homes home because he was really not at his prime both uh, physical as uh, psychological. Uh, the driver wants us to let you know that much because of respect, out of respect, but he also asks for that same respect uh, in these difficult moments. And um, we are pretty sure that we are going to comply and other, otherwise would be not so good. So. Mortara going for a six. We have a spin at San Francisco. Yeah, yeah, this is the image. Wow. Ow, ow, Frankie, you you were so lucky, man. You were lucky, and I think Mortara, that uh, was the one that managed to squeeze his car in between the little space he left uh, from the front of your car to those protection red and white uh, sponge walls, yeah. I'm not sure. Well, one more or is the same? No, it's the same. So, very quickly to the times, Mortara, Paul, starting from Paul to try and get a record, an historic sixth straight win at Macau. Nobody has ever done it. Mark Wengel, he will finish second in the in the session, but still six uh, tenths, sixty centesimos to one with the uh, Renger van der Zende uh, achieving third place. Imperatore. From the Porsche Carrera Capesia, the Austrian driver that was second in the championship two years ago here in Asia, Imperatore, in his uh, few visits to Macau, has always driven 
I wouldn't say immaculate because it's a very strong and definitive, definitive uh, kind of approach. But um, oh, and now you see the flag.